Hi guys. Hi. You're probably wondering, where are you? Oh. What's happening? We've been transported to another planet. <sighs> Alien abductions, I tell ya. Alien abductions, we were beamed up, like... Oh my god, the worst. The, all these things are happening. Actually, what's really happening is Mercury retrograde. Yes, and the weather. Yes, it is snowy here, icy roads, which means that we couldn't leave and go to our studio, so we're going to do a recap here. Right on the little computer, because our cameras are not here. And what are we doing? Um, Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! <laughs> joining us at this lovely casa yes we have going on here yes. <laughs> in our excellent. fireplace with no fire no. we should find a fire what are we thinking or we'll just we'll just photoshop that that's true i'll do that <laughs> i'll do that for you guys <laughs> we had to do Roswell recap for you guys right because i mean why not and this was a really great episode right right it's, yeah exactly we didn't want to be late yeah so let's dive then all right back she's been gone for a little while she has i was wondering what happened to her and she was up to some shenanigans mm -hmm. with mr may she doesn't even realize it <sighs> she's a bonbon man it's like i try to like you and then you do stuff like that i'm like oh, no sheila bonbon right it's like i know she just doesn't understand what she's doing but i don't is it like a revenge thing at this point like because mm -hmm. obviously she had whether it be just like affection or feelings yeah. for Max, and now she's all like, "I'm gonna turn you in." Like, mm -hmm. is it is it she's just pissed that they didn't well, end up being a thing? And so she mentioned the story about Charlie, yes. her sister, yeah. and so I think, and from I'm trying to remember the conversation that Master Sergeant, whatever his damn title is. Had with her. I, I feel like he mentioned the name Charlie, so I'm wondering if that's what it is. It has something to do with her sister that. Oh, is he gonna like get her out or something? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. it, especially for them to bring that story up to me, there's relevance there. That's so, a good point. Yeah. But still, I mean, well, I guess a lot of this show, you know, with this season anyway, it's kind of been about like, you know, regardless of how I feel about you. I feel stronger about this person. So true. So, so true. I'm going to ultimately, you know, choose them over you. Max kind of regarding of Liz. Liz regarding her sister Rosa. Yeah, that's like the ongoing thing. Yeah, it's all this kind of like, who's your number one? Yes. Yeah. Guys, as Lizzie McGuire taught me in middle school, you can have more than one best friend. So true. And that also means you can care about more than one person. So maybe so like stop yeah. on this whole hierarchy thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. say, yeah. I'm not going to turn anybody in and we're just going to make this work. Well, maybe. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. I guess. Real quick. I guess. So we also got Maria in this yes. episode. Oh, uh, which I guess she couldn't be in the last one because of contractual Prior, yeah. obligations mm -hmm. and stuff. Which is really good, but still what? sad. But what a good episode for her. Seriously, though. To really give her some good, meaty mm -hmm. drama moments. Actually, like, getting to know her character because we haven't. Like, she's just been like, hey, I'm Maria. I'm here. Yeah. Your friend. And it's she very kinda, shallow. Yeah. And she kind of even, like, mentions that in this episode. Like, I'm always, like, the cool friend or, like, yeah. the fun friend. Yeah. You know, and I always want to be that person. Yeah. But I'm dealing with this all the time. And um, so it's really cool to really dive in and see her and kind of get the whole Mama DeLuca, who's so oh, crashy. That was rough. It was so rough. But, it, like, it's kind of what I feel like we've been getting this whole season is this, like, 
Oh, we have information. We've had yes. information. Oh, oh, yep. just kidding. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Like, that was just, like, the epitome of, like, the whole season. Yeah. To me. Like, yes, definitely. So far, we're just getting these little nuggets. And either, like, they forget about them and we don't hear about it for, yeah. like, three episodes. Yeah. Basically, Mama DeLuca is season one of the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and what was cool, so this all came about because Alex confronted Liz and was basically like, look, like, I get that you got your shit that you're dealing with, and, um, like, you've got your trauma, like, all this stuff and everything, but, like, we need you also to be our friends, like, right. and be a human being. Right. Like, you, you're here on a Saturday by yourself working, like, you're not answering phone calls or anything, and, like, that's not cool, man. Right. Like, that's not cool. Right. Like, we need you. Well, and it's very much, like, Liz really felt, like, I've got all this shit I got to deal with. Nobody knows what I'm going through, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then we go to find out you're not the only one. Right. Sit down. Right. You need Sit to worry your about your down. people. Sit like, yeah. your problems might seem not so big. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all pretty big, but, <laughs> you know. But still, it's just, I think it was a good, like, putting Liz into perspective. Yeah. Which I think she really needed. Because even though... It sucks, all this stuff, but there's so many sides. There are. There's so many sides and there's just so many details and things we still don't really quite know. We got a piece of information from uh, Mama DeLuca about Isabel. Yes. Saying yes. that Isabel told her something or she found yes. out something. And so... Which put Rosa in danger because Isabel was afraid that... She was going to confide and let people know about what the secret was. Right. Which I assume we're supposed to assume that that is, that she's an alien. Yeah. But it could be that she's a lesbian. Could be. No, I don't know. But hey. I do, I mean, there was definitely something romantic about their interactions. Oh, for sure. So, oh, for sure. You know, but I mean, I guess she wouldn't be bisexual because I think she's happy about yeah. Noah. But still, like just to, you know, maybe it was, maybe she came on to, because she said it scared her. And if you think you're like a straight girl, you know, if I were to be like, hey. Yeah, Like yeah. you could be like, oh, that scares me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know that you should kill someone over it, <laughs> but you know, not me. So yeah. I don't know. Um, You're not an alien. I'm not an alien, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, but still, you know, we're getting pieces. Look, they're all coming together. Don't, so can't quite don't know. see that picture. I don't know. Exactly. And they just keep adding more things. Cause then, I know. well, and like, so Wyatt, yeah. He's in the hospital, and yeah. he says, I don't remember anything. And then he's, like, sidetracked, and then, like, randomly drawing the symbol that yeah. is also Max's tattoo, which Sheila Bonbon sees, mm -hmm. and is like, uh, those are the same thing. Right. And, mm -hmm. But I believe him when he says he didn't remember. Oh, I do, too. Oh, and that's the thing, like, he, like, he was drawing that, like, not focusing. Yeah. It was just, like, not shot, as if someone was hypnotized or yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, because I was really, like, not feeling, like, I was, I was feeling like Isabel was having some sort of, you know, other personality. Yes. Type deal. Not so much some sort of, like, takeover. Right. But then that feels very, like, a takeover. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think all these people have different, like, identities inside of them. Well, and you were saying in, like, that one episode how it's, like... How is it that, like, Wyatt went up against Sheila Bonbon shooting and, like, couldn't aim for anything, and then this guy shows up, like, perfect aim? Like, what's his story? And it, it is, it seems like, especially, like, seeing him in the hospital and everything, that, yeah, there's, like, two sides of him, too. Yeah. So this is a really interesting common de common denominator, if you yeah. will. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's well, a common thing. And it makes sense that he would be possessed or taken over or whatever by some alien that he would have... Perfect aim to shoot the guy right between the eyes. Yes. And then Sheila Bonbon said, you know, if you had, you know, been any different yes. in your shot, yes. you would have killed Max. I'm like, but if he knows that Max is an alien and he doesn't want Max killed. Which could it be but Isabel's then... other personality? Right. You know, her other alternate. Like, um, being the one, like, controlling, like, Wyatt and stuff. Could be. 
You know what I mean? And, then and that's like, why and she, her hand, and that could explain the blackout. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and why he didn't kill Max. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Dude, I don't know. There's so many layers, man. Mm-hmm. And maybe none of it's, like, connected like that. But <laughs> no. it feels like it <laughs> No, it would be some completely why different. Why would you be having, like, to not remember, like, to basically have a blackout, which yeah. is what he said. I think yeah. he even used the word blackout. Yeah. So, like, why would you have two people having blackouts unless right. they were connected? Right. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something's going down. Mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure what. Mm-hmm. But. Well, and then we had Isabel's confrontation with Liz, which that was really interesting for me. Because I was, was like, oh, shit. Like, this is happening. But, and it, what's interesting is, like, with Liz, like, you could tell she was so upset. But she also, there was, like, this kind of, like, I, in a way, I kind of feel sorry for you, too. Because I think she could kind of tell that Isabel really genuinely had no idea. Like, yeah. But also, she's like, that's still no excuse. Yeah. And, like, you're a danger. Like, you already blacked out the other day, so therefore, like, this can happen again. And I can't live with myself knowing that. Right. Kind of a thing. Um, you could definitely tell, like, she got it. Yeah. But at the same time, she's pissed. For sure. And she wants justice, but then realizing that she can't really get justice. Right. Without, obviously, like she said... Possibly endangering her father. Yep. Which totally makes sense as to why she would want to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and so I it's think... just that frustration mm-hmm. of not being able... And not being able to tell anybody, really. Yeah. And, I mean, maybe part of it, too, is, like, knowing, like, that's, that is just opening up a can of worms for the government to get a hold of mm-hmm. them. Kind of finding out their abilities and as aliens and stuff, and maybe part of her is kind of protecting Max. Not, yes. I think even you know, though she's pissed off at him right now, I still don't think she'd want to hand him over to government. Right. So right. Even, and even if she feels like Isabel maybe deserves it, even if she thinks Max deserves it, right, she still wouldn't do it because she still has those feelings and she still, she still cares. Yeah. Like, regardless of, you know, what happens. I love how... How, how long did we have? Because at the very end of last episode, she was like, I never want to see you again. And literally, like, the second scene. <laughs> yeah. They were, like, in a scene together. Yeah. Like, she, like, ran away. But right, still, right. like, uh, that didn't last long. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, they, they had a couple civil conversations they at did. the end there. They so. did. Especially that ending. That was such a cool exchange between her and Max. And I, I love that. And I think that really um, changed her mindset on things, too. And realized... And, seeing that he's realizing, like, you're right, like, I've been holding a double standard here, like, and that was wrong with me, and we can't control our abilities. He's like, even I can't, obviously, and I don't know what the extent of that is, so you should protect yourself, and you should protect other people, um, because we just don't know what's going to happen. I think that was surprising to her, and and she also really respected that. Yeah, well, and I feel like that's what we said last week, week it was kind of like he has to like for there to be any growth between the two of them he has to like admit that like he made the wrong choice or like there has to be that like growth in that and I feel like this is steps to that Mm -hmm. so I think they're making good choices instead of it just being like you know, they're digging them heels in mm. and then she just caves or something I'm not gonna lie when they first like and of course that's like every show where it's like you like Throw in some, it's like, bum, 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 in the commercial break. But, like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? When they were, like, she was like, I'm creating a weapon. I was like. That was, that was a weird choice of words. Yeah. And it definitely, it, like, we knew that she was working. Sure. But, and when I, I, it felt kind of out of left field, for sure. Yeah. From a writing perspective. Yes. It was, like. It it was. Then it, it, like, worked itself out. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm okay with this a little bit. But yeah, like the writing of that was just really weird. It was weird. just for the drama. It was, yes. And I, I just wasn't about that. Right. And, and that's kind of the, like, I get like taking a darker and a more serious turn with this show compared to the other one. But yeah, it was almost getting like too, too, too like intense. Like soap opery. Soap opery, yes, exactly. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, no. Yeah, we don't need that. You can have the drama without it being a scandal. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. actually, I would pay big money to see all these characters in a telenovela. Yeah. 
Like that would that, be amazing. Oh my god. Uh, I'd be down uh, for that for sure. And, and Malik's in a mm. telenovela. Mm. Uh, Aren't they already in one? They really are though. Uh. Oh and oh yeah, and Mama DeLuca telling Alex like your aura's changed, man. Mm. Like you're becoming your dad. Don't go down that path. And, so is that because he touched that scale? I think so. Because she said something about, like, talk, talking about objects and, yes. like, things from other worlds. Yes. And he had, like, touched that scale, like, two episodes ago. Yeah. And and so maybe he's kind of been a little obsessed with kind of figuring that out. And she's like, don't don't go down that path, man. Like, Jim Valeni did that. You know, your dad did that. And, like, look what it's done to your dad. I mean, he was already a dickhole before that, I'm right. sure. But, well, like, clearly. he's even more an insane dickhole yeah. uh, now. So, yeah, little well, Mama DeLuca throwing out some stuff out there. I mean, mm. she's she's out there, but she, she knows some shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of that character. Yeah. Is you can, you're crazy, so you can literally say whatever you want, and some things are accurate, and some things are Independence Day. Yeah, Will Smith. Yeah, so it's just, <laughs> it it's one of those things we almost should probably go through and just see everything she said and really analyze, yes, like, totally. is yeah. this something that's a clue, or is this uh-huh. just nonsense? Yes. Um, which makes it really fun. Yeah, totally. I love that. I love Mama DeLuca. Yeah. So she she's really going cute. to an assisted living home, but probably yeah. for the best. Yeah. Poor Maria. That oh, cute little Maria Michael moment there at the end. Dude, I was shitting. Like, look, I know I love Malix, and, like, I'm all for that, and I'm glad they're going down that train. But, like, just to give me a little bit of Michael and Maria, yeah. like, that it's a little... nice. It's a nice nod, and I still love the idea of them being friends totally like and having like a, their own little special connection and i just love like just that old snip of her like i said not talk yeah it's like don't talk to me yeah no uh-uh yeah Mm-mm. and i like i love that i'm like yes that, <laughs> those are my baby it felt very <laughs> yeah so that was so cute and just yeah see always whenever we see that vulnerable side of michael too it's just like oh, it's always so endearing it really is God, his eyes, though. Right. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, he could get away with anything with me. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you sent Liz away? Okay. <laughs> I know. I mean, from the beginning, I've been like... I mean, I I was never really a Max fan in the original, either. Yeah. But I've always just been a Michael girl. But, like, even more so, like, as much as I liked him in the original, like, I think... Michael Vlamis, though, mm-hmm. and just, like, him as a person. Yeah. Just, like... Uh, yeah, like, his, social media. <laughs> yeah, like, his personality yeah. is just, like, dude, you're just a winner. You're just... Well, and so, I was abducted last week, so I didn't get a chance to talk about this, but when I, when I watched the episode last week, I thought what was really interesting is, like, Michael did have goals. Like, he was yeah. acing all of his tests. Like, he was going away to college and to, like, really, like, esteemed colleges. And he had all of these goals. He had drives. We've talked about that before, though. A little bit. They kind of threw that out there. But this really showed that, like, it was, like, a completely different person. Yeah. And then... All, Isabel all of, messed it all up. Isabel messed well, it all up. and he got his hand. And, yes. Oh, yeah, God. it was kind his of a whole, series. Like, it was like a day. A day, like, all his... of this shit happened, and it ruined his life, yeah, basically. Kind of. yeah. But, so that was really, and, and it made even, Michael made even more sense to me, and I felt even more for him. Yeah. Um, little guy, and he's just trying to take care of everybody. Yeah. Literally, like, taking care of Alex, yeah. taking care of Isabel, even taking care of Max. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, that was a big takeaway that I had last week, too. I think we talked about that. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, it was so, it was kind of hard doing with Joel just because there was so much he didn't know, so yeah. I was trying yeah. to, like, only talk about, like, things that I thought he would know what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it was how, like, kind of, like... You know, Liz, how she got, she was so in her head about her drama. It was, it's like the opposite with Michael. Yeah. Where, like, he had so much going on, but he still was like, oh, I got to focus on, you know, what Isabel needs and what Max yes. needs. Like, yeah. he's completely, like, self-sacrificing, basically. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, wanting to be there for his family. And I don't know that 
they ever really acknowledge that. No. Like, I don't know. No. I mean, obviously, if it's like a whole, like, it's not a secret, obviously, but he didn't necessarily know that anyone knew about Alex. Right. So, obviously, he probably never really told them what happened, like, with right. his hand. Right. Right. Which was a super traumatic thing. So he just kind of takes it on and takes it on and just lets it Mm -hmm. and just deals with it. Yeah. So that's hard when you already feel alone. Yeah. Just being a freaking alien. But then on top of it, you feel like you can't even tell your family because they've got their own shit. You don't want to bother them. True. True facts. Little guy. I feel it. One thing (laughs) that was so funny to me in this episode was Max's digging of like Isabel like with Noah being like dude no that like was... don't with her like just just move on like <laughs> I don't know if it was supposed to be funny but it definitely no was. I was laughing I was like damn son but like, I don't know that it was supposed to be though no probably not like probably uh, not <laughs> I mean if it was they did a good job of playing it off because it was it felt just like really harsh it was almost like it was funny because of how awkward it was yeah it was just well like, and obviously no was taken back he was expecting to walk in and then have max be like no man like she's just going through something like yeah, yeah, yeah. be there for her and instead max is like no man you did the right thing like just get out of it now like yeah. while you can yeah <laughs> noah's like uh, uh, uh um noah being grade a husband again <sighs> Always. He like he always. has always he has made the right decisions every time. Yeah. I yeah. mean truly because it's like he needed his space and he, yep. you know and she wasn't being honest, but then he you know he wanted to make amends. He wasn't yes. just like f you. I never want right. to talk to you again. Right. So I he's just making all the right decisions. Like that's so admirable, especially considering he still don't know shit. <laughs> For, for he sure. doesn't know anything. Yeah, and then he's, he's like, still, was it booze? Yeah. Like, that's, he doesn't know. Yeah, he God still doesn't even him. know, and he still is trying to make it work. Tell this man. Come on. He he's... needs to be the next person. Like, if Alex finds out before Noah, like, as much as, like, <laughs> Alex is, like, my number one, I'm still, like, Noah deserves to know what's going on. For sure. Full stop. For sure. <sighs> Yeah, so Isabel checked herself in. First of all, she told the boys, listen, I'm controlling my life now. You need to stop because you all suck at it, obviously. Yep. So I'm controlling my life, and I'm going to go and check myself in, and I'm going to get help. Yeah. In general, I feel like there's a lot of introspection with a lot of the characters this week. I feel like a lot of them were kind of figuring out that they were acting very rashly yes. and that they need to really sit and think before they do something. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that was really nice because, especially in, like, high drama shows, a lot of times you kind of, like, overlook that just for the drama or for right. the relationship or, like, whatever. You kind of have to, like, have suspension of disbelief. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like they're doing a good job of trying to root a sci-fi show in reality. Right. And, like, you yes. know, in reality, you have to think, am I doing the right thing? Should I change how I'm behaving? Like, really trying to make sure that you're being your best person. Just you are right. All of them this episode. All yeah. of them had that moment. Yeah. That they yeah. all had to kind of think, is this right? Yep. And I think that really they all made the right decision. Um, besides Sheila Bonbon. Well, Sheila Bonbon's not a person. She doesn't even have a name. Her name is Sheila Bonbon. I guess it's what, Cameron? Yeah. Sheila Bonbon. Whatever. We're still calling you Sheila Bonbon. Yeah. Um, But yeah. Except for her, but if she, you know, is trying to, like, help her sister, and it's also like, oh, I get that. Yeah. Is that, they're all sisters. Yeah. It's like a whole sister thing. What's up with these women, man? Yeah. Crazy. Like, it, it's like, instead of it being Maria's mom, it should have been Maria's sister. Yeah. Because, you yeah, know. Yeah, we got Rosa, Isabel, Charlie. Yeah. Just all these sisters everywhere that yeah. they're trying to Causing do right chaos. by. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, sisterly bonds, man. It's I hard. I know. I don't get it. Only child. True. Only, Only child. child. She doesn't get it. And now it's time for Roswell's very own 
Baywatch. So I was going to say no to Baywatch just because we're kind of in this weird hub, you know, and I was like, yeah, they don't want to know. But Kaylee here is like, um, of course they want to know about like Baywatch. That's breaking news. Listen. Sorry. Look. You go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Really, just because he's never won it by himself, but he was just in all his glory and all his sexy, beautiful manness with big eyes. We gotta give it to Michael this week. Oh yeah. Just like because we didn't really have necessarily any like big moments with anyone, but it was just like every time he was on screen. It was just like, ooh. Mm. And he only ever won it in episode one with Alex. It's true. They've always been like... And Al- well, and Alex won last week, so then Michael, here we go. They're my two guys, for sure. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. And then even little Alex looked good in this episode. He did. I loved his little jacket he was yeah. wearing. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to give it... I just have to wait for that Maria moment, man. I know. But she was, she was too sad this episode. Yeah. So, Michael... Michael. Babe watch. Michael's babe watch him. I forgot that nasty freaking scene in the beginning. Cutting up a damn body. Oh, yeah. And pulling, I don't even know what From the From the past. Heck. Yeah. And, like, the only point of it was really to show the symbol again. On show the, the hand. symbol on the hands. They what are, they pulled something specific out. We just couldn't tell they what that did. was. It was like, well, I think it was just to show that it wasn't a human. Because it was, like, glowy. And it looked like a female body. Was it? It did I, look I like it. Really, honestly, I, <laughs> I don't do well with... Uh, I'm not... A like, gore doesn't bother me so much, but surgery yeah, really that, bothers me. Yeah, because that's me. more realistic. With yes. Like, like that. Yeah, like, I can deal with someone, like, being decapitated. But don't show me, like, a gut. Yeah. Being opened up. Um, so I was be cutting. I was only like sort of watching because of making me a little yeah. spooky. Well, and it was like fast cut, like cuts yeah. or whatever, but it, yeah, it looked like it was a female body. Mm. And then had the hands with the symbol yeah. and it was a mains there. So I'm assuming right. that was Master whatever the Mas- hell. Master Sergeant. Master Sergeant's dad. Yeah. Because it's 1947. Yeah. Dad or granddad, really. Yeah. Depending on... I don't know how old everyone's supposed to be. I don't get these timelines. But, yeah. yeah, So, that was... That was important. Well, I think what it's going to be is... Sheila Bonbon is going to send the symbol to Master Sergeant. And Master Sergeant's going to be like, Oh, in this file here that I have taped on my wall, or whatever, tacked on my wall, that's the same symbol. Well, didn't Max take the symbol? Or does she still have it? No, I think she still has it. Okay. So I just remember he... I don't know. Forget that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I think... Yeah, maybe she made a copy. Or she can probably just be like, he had this weird symbol on his back. Yeah. Hey, Wyatt, I need you oh, to... Oh, yeah, no, she did, because she the, she was looking at him on her desk afterwards. Yes, you're I right. I think, because I was just thinking because Max, like, took the paper from her and was, yeah, like, yeah. looking at it, and I thought he walked away with it, but... Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out in this lovely living room area yeah all snowed in mm. but i'm glad that you guys watched this anyway. yeah and it was a super awesome episode and apparently isabel gets like sick or something yeah. next week so we'll see at least at least i got like something from that yeah, promo probably the best promo they've had so <laughs> yeah far. i was like oh at least know like something significant yeah. like that yeah. is happening normally i'm like i don't hell's going on they're usually like three seconds long and they don't tell us anything but yeah, yeah. so we'll see mm-hmm. maybe something went wrong with the serum or whatever <gasps> and liz oh. has to work on saturday and sunday liz. to figure it out and liz has to decide should i save her or should i let her die tell yes. novella escandalo escandalo <gasps> um what is this rafa rica yes rafa rica Sci-fi fans, you know what you need to do? You need to click to subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch us every Thursday for what? The Roswell Recap. Roswell Recap!
We are going to dive into some of our favorite sci-fi television shows oh, and movies. What? And some that we've never seen before. Oh, Lord. You know that you guys can actually tweet us at Cafe Crashdown and let us know some of your favorite TV shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down. Mm -hmm. And after we watch them, we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one. So recommend at your own risk. Mm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays. Yes. When we're watching Roswell, New Mexico on the CW. Yep. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell recap. Oh, oh, it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday.